John carried a bag full of automatic rifles through airport security, but strangely, the staff lowered their heads to answer a phone call. Little did they know, this foolish act would bring catastrophic disaster to the hundreds of passengers on the plane. John, armed with numerous firearms, was rushing towards the airplane's gate. Just as he was about to board, a flight attendant raced the security line. The flight attendant claimed that the boarding time had already passed and asked John to take the next flight. Observing John's frantic state, Chris, standing nearby, felt that the flight attendant didn't need to be so strict, as the lane for just one minute wouldn't make a significant difference. Under Chris' persuasion, the flight attendant reluctantly allowed John, with his firearms, into the cabin. The cabin door closed, and the plane began to take off. An event of a terrorist organization hijacking the plane was about to unfold. While cruising at an altitude of 10,000 meters, a girl entered the restroom in the cabin and accidentally discovered a bullet in the corner. The girl became instantly nervous because in this heavily guarded airport, the presence of a bullet on the plane likely meant there were terrorists among the crew. For the sake of safety, the girl decided not to raise an alarm and instead picked up the bullet and put it in her pocket. She calmly returned to her seat and shared the incident with her classmates. At the moment her classmates saw the bullet, they were deeply shocked. They believed that this incident needed to be reported to their teacher, Griffin. So, the girl handed the bullet to the man in front of her. When Griffin saw the bullet, he urgently advised the students not to disclose this matter to anyone else and went to the control room to report to the pilot. Passing through the bustling economy class, Griffin squatted in front of Mike and recounted the incident. Little did he know that Mike was the armed militant carrying the firearms. It turned out that the student's teacher was also a member of the terrorist group. They had lost a bullet, which happened to be picked up by a girl. Presumably, this news would soon reach the ears of the crew. Therefore, Griffin wanted Mike to act earlier than planned. Mike glanced at his watch. Their plan was to execute it three hours after the plane left the ground. And now, they were just five minutes away from leaving the national airspace. So, he asked Griffin to put on a green hat, which served as a time signal to initiate their plan in five minutes. As the terrorists and the economy class noticed the signal provided by Griffin, they all responded accordingly. Later, Mike approached the students, took off his hat, and squatted down, pretending that he had just reported the bullet incident to the pilot. It turned out to be a security personnel, using the restroom before the plane took off, and it was normal for them to carry weapons and accidentally drop a bullet. Griffin assured the students that the plane was safe. Don't like four of us, eh? Griffin returned to his seat. As time passed, the students began to feel that something was not right. They questioned the cabin crew if they had issued any bullet safety instructions. But when they heard the word bullet, the cabin crew looked confused, unaware of any bullet-related incident. It became evident that Griffin had lied. He never reported anything to the cabin crew. The terrorists in the corner realized that their identities were about to be exposed. So, they quickly took out their handguns from their pockets. Everybody down! Echoing through the cabin, the command caused chaos. Down scenes of terrorists raised their guns, threatening passengers to remain seated and motionless. They intended to hijack the plane. No, you fucking don't. 